as a follow-up on the video I did showing some of my results from using castor oil for three weeks, I thought I'd do a quick video, be a little vulnerable, showing how I actually apply it when I'm at the end of the day. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it in an end card at the end of the video. I'll also link it in a regular card and also in the description box and in the first comment if you want to see that. Now, what I've done tonight, I washed my face, I put on all my skincare, I took a bath so all my skin is clean. So now I'm ready to start doing all of the additional castor oil and coconut oil. So this is my castor oil where I put the pump. I bought a separate pump for it. And then this is the carrier oil, which I'll use on my body together. And this is a liquidy, can you hear that? Coconut oil. So I'm going to start with my face, but I don't put it on my whole face. I'm just going to do a little pump here. And I have dryness above my eyes, above this one. But now I'm just adding it anyway. And then another doctor said this is really good for getting rid of floaters in your eyes. But we'll see. I've had floaters in this eye for a few years. All right. Then I have some seborrheic ker keratosis here. So, you know, there's a lot still left over in my finger. And the other thing is I have this little nodule. I don't know if you can see that in here. So with a little bit left over, I'll put it there. I'll put a little bit here above my lip and here. And that's all I'm going to do. You know, right now I'm not doing like gua sha. Um, I could do that, but I'm tired and I don't feel like it. So now I have to address the eczema. So I'm having a little flare up here on my arm. And again, I, since it's so small, I'm just going to do straight straight castor oil here. And after this, I am going to put on long pajamas, by the way, long um, and at least short sleeves. So now I'm ready to dress the eczema here. It's Since I did that video, it's flared up a little bit. So what I do is a half a pump of the coconut oil and then two pumps of the castor oil. Now, I'm usually not wearing clothes when I do this, but you know, that would be an inappropriate YouTube video. And I just go over each under our area. This side isn't as bad, but I showed before pictures in that video that you might want to watch if you have it. Then I do my tummy area and I do another small half a pump of the coconut oil. I'm usually not wearing shorts. I do this whole area. I will get it in my belly button, but I'll like pour it in and lie down. So, you know, I'm 64 years old. So this is my tummy at 64. And then with what's left over, I'll put some on my hands. Now I'm ready to do my toes. So I'm just going to take a very small amount of my finger, rub my fingers together and do my large toe and then touch all the other toes. And I will put on socks before I get in the bed because I don't want this on my sheets. So that's all I do for my toes. And the reason I do my toes is because I have a little bit of that fungus nail on one of the nails. So I'm just putting it on there so that all of the new growth of the nail and the skin around the nail has that castor oil on it for prevention. Now I have it in the palm of my hands, so I am going to wash my hands because I'm not going to go to bed with hands like this. I don't know if the rest of you do, so I will wash my hands and then I'm going to bed. So if you want to check out that other video, I'll put it in the end card on the right side of the screen and I'll see you over there.